Hello. In this video, we'll look at adding automated releases to a GitHub repository so that we can create GitHub releases whenever we tag a commit and push that commit to GitHub. Very quickly, we can see this visually and then understand it in the code. So imagine we start with the repository where we're building and deploying on every commit. So locally in our IDE, we're developing, committing, and then pushing those commits to GitHub. We still want that, and we still want the automated deployment system. But really, we want to add one other GitHub Actions workflow, where we're automatically creating GitHub releases. So users can see our new releases, and they see what they contain. Now, this will be a separate workflow from the build and deploy GitHub Actions workflow. So we'll be creating a separate GitHub Actions workflow and we'll use a public repository. That's in the description of this video, which you can reference. So this is the repository here, in this case for a web application. We have one GitHub Actions workflow in the GitHub directory, the workflows directory within that, and then there's a configuration file for the Actions workflow. Now, this is going to deploy on every commit. We want to add a new file here. And we'll call this release.yaml. Now, we want to release whenever we have a commit tag which starts with v for a version. So, this is the code we need for our GitHub Actions workflow. Here we have the name of the workflow. We have the trigger, and we're going to run on every commit tag which begins with v. And finally, we have the job. When we run this, it will create a GitHub release. It has the commit involved in that release. It will detail each commit that was a part of the release, and that will be since the last version tag. So let's add this to our repository. And let's then push that. Now, if we open the workflow summary here, we see that just our commit workflow is running. Just the workflow that runs on every commit to build and deploy, not this release workflow. And the reason for that is we need to tag the commit. And now if we open, we see the release workflow is now running. This is running from the v010 tag. There are only three steps to the workflow that just ran, and we'll talk about those in detail. But first, let's see the result. We see that a version 0 0.1.0 was created. Now, to see how it automatically creates a list of commits, we need to have a new version, so it can compare versus the last application, and tell us what the new commits are. So, we'll create a simple commit in this web application.
and again create a tag and push it. Now, when we go to the GitHub repository, we'll see a new release running for a 0.1.1 version. And we'll see the new release. Note that it has a list of commits, including the update web page title and the name of the committer that contributed that commit. So you'll get a list of commits that were involved in this release, that is, the commits since the last version. You should hopefully have that working, and we can understand the workflow now by looking at the steps involved. What we're going to do is first run on Ubuntu, then use this plugin that's available in GitHub Actions, which automatically creates releases. All we need for that is to supply a repository token, and this secret is automatically added to the GitHub Actions workflow. We do not need to specify this secret. It's running on GitHub. And so that will be automatically provided when this workflow runs. So with this simple 19 lines of configuration, we can have these automated releases that create automatic GitHub releases and automatic list of commits that are a part of that release. This will help our users understand what we're releasing with different versions and keep everyone up to date with who's contributing what into various releases. This repository is publicly available, so if you'd like to experiment with these concepts, you can clone, copy or fork the repository and try this out.